<laughs> Welcome, Allie. Hello. Allie's a new coach. She just signed up a few days ago. She's my coach. And, um, and then Jessica with the green hue over her. <laughs> What's up with the green hue? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't, my computer's not dying. Maybe you have like weird color settings on your computer or something. Or maybe they well, I haven't calibrated in a long time. Maybe if I leave the meeting and come back. Yeah, try that. Is that Julianne with you? Oh, she left. <laughs> and Andrea, you're pretty new. Hello. So fun to see all you guys. Um, We'll see if Danielle will pop. There you go. That's better. You know what? Yay! <laughs> yeah, and there's your daughter. That's yeah. fun. Her daughter's a coach, too. This is her. She's 18. She's graduated high school, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, okay, Danielle needs to get on. <laughs> She's the guest speaker. <laughs> Let me text her really quick. Does anyone have any other questions while we're waiting for Danielle to hop on? Um, I one um one thing that I oh I I'm revamping the team sheet cookbook. Do you like the layout, Shree? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I really like it because it's not so long. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted to make the container thing a separate column or just have them put it there on kind of the comment instruction section, but. That was my only. Oh, yeah, I think if we put it under the title, that would be cool. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, really quick. I just, and then I'm trying to get Danielle on. Um. <clears throat> and like, <laughs> he's like, I'm hopping on. Okay. Um. But yeah, the, I'm really excited about the new Team Sheet Cookbook because it has seven days of breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and she calls your recipes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a monthly menu that'll say, do this recipe, do this one, do this one from the Team Sheet Cookbook. Mm -hmm. so that, that way they feel like they have recipes and they have like a meal plan. So I think it'll be pretty cool, but you guys need to add a, add a recipe if you want to use it. Got it. Got to contribute. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. I got to send one more person. Uh, uh, Any other announcements? So you guys know we started the Back to School, Back to You boot camp um, this week with Prep Week. And then one, more th one thing I wanted to mention was um, we are doing a in, – in October – for both challenge groups, we're going to do our beauty boot camp that we did last fall. That one's really fun. We had a ton of fun as a team doing that. And basically, it's where we all share makeup tips every Monday, makeup Monday, in the group. So, we'll, And then I think we gave a Sephora gift card to anyone um, that, that signed up, like a $10 one, which you can send those via email, which I love. Um, so just so you guys have a heads up and you know what to be promoting, you know, if, if you don't get anyone in this back to school, back to you boot camp, you can start promoting the beauty boot camp. Um, and it's just the main, you know, it's kind of the same stuff, but the main, the extra bonus details are weekly uh, makeup tutorials. And then if you want to, to do this as an extra bonus, you can give them a $10 gift card to Sephora. So that's what we'll be promoting in, um, in October. And it's really, really fun, guys. <laughs> so, um, okay, well, we've got Danielle on. So we're going to, I'm going to just turn the time over to her so she can chat. But let me introduce her really quick. So this is, let me do speaker view. Um, I guess. 
Um, so, and I'm going to mute all of you. So Danielle is um, my sister-in-law, and she started, and you can elaborate on this, Danielle, because I might butcher it. <laughs> But she started a an embroidery, she started doing embroidery, and then she started selling templates, like digital templates for embroidery. And then she exploded because she uh, sold it, she started selling it all on Facebook. She started this Facebook group that has over 8,000 members. And not only, you know, you would think like, okay, well, what do you talk about with embroidery? But she makes that group really fun. She does all sorts of games that have absolutely nothing to do with embroidery. Um, <laughs> she does, here, unmute yourself, Danielle, so we can hear you laugh. <laughs> um, and then she has a Facebook fan page of over 15,000, is it, for, it's like around 14 to 15,000 um, with her, it's called French Frills. Is that the full name? Yeah. French Frills Embroidery? Yes. Okay. Well, it, French Frills Embroidery Designs, but yeah, French. French Frills is what it just goes by. Okay. Um, which, by the way, I, I helped her with that name. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Has a little French flair, of course. Um, anyway, so she, she did that, but she's gotten her Facebook group to, I mean, her Facebook fan page to, you know, over 14,000. And then she started a LuLaRoe business which you'll see me modeling lots of her dresses and she started a facebook fan page for that one and she already has how many people do you have in that group now um crap hold on let me go look really quick well it's been only been open for a week and we're at over 2600 members yeah. So, and that group has just exploded. Like she put me in there and I was like, what is <laughs> happening here? How can I do this? <laughs> so we started talking cause I've been giving her some Instagram tips. Um, and she was like, I was like, Instagram is my jam. And she was like, Facebook is my jam. And so we're like, <laughs> let's talk. So we've been talking and she started sharing some tips and I'm like, will you please tell my team these things? And also me, I wanted her to kind of like tell all of us at the same time. So she's going to be sharing um, some of the things we might even, I might even have you screen share. Oh Lord, you're going to have to tell me how to do that. It's so easy. You just click, <laughs> you just click share screen. It's really easy. Okay. But, um, uh. but yeah, so, so I'm going to let Danielle take it away because she has built a very lucrative one business and now she's on her way to two two businesses all through just Facebook oh, groups and Facebook fan pages. And they are very interactive groups. Like they are constant. There's constantly crap going on in there. So take it away, Danielle. All right. So like Kelly said, um, my business first started as I actually started as I was doing bows because <laughs> I was pregnant with my first kid. Um, and I swore up and down that it was going to be a, a girl. Like, I was like, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. It is a girl. So like before I even found out I was making bows and then lo and behold, Jameson's a boy. So <laughs> I was like, well, what am I going to do with all these bows? So I decided to sell them all. So that's kind of how I started. And then it just evolved from bows to like making outfits. And I was like, well, what if I could do embroidery on outfits? And so I literally bought a embroidery machine on like the home shopping network and put it on credit because I had no extra cash. <laughs> and so I put it on credit and, um, and I paid like monthly payments on it. And so I started embroidering and then I realized that the designs I wanted weren't out there. So I was like, well, why don't I teach myself to digitize? Like if they can do it, I could do it. So I, bought digitizing software and self-taught myself to digitize and started my Facebook group for my digitizing. It wasn't for the actual products. It was specifically the Facebook group was started for the embroidery designs. So it wasn't for an actual tangible item. Um, and is it like a download basically. Yeah. So it's a digital download is what it is. So like, so I upload it onto my website. They, purchase it and instantly download it, transfer it to the computer and then to the machine and off they go. 
Okay. So that's, that's pretty much what my company is. Um, it's been going on. I've been digitizing for two years now. Um, and it, and the group is steadily continuing to grow every day. We have probably 20 or 30 requests to join the group, um, for French frills that we send out. Um, the hard part about it is, um, there's two different ways to set up a Facebook group. One is closed and one is secret. Well, technically there's three and then there's one that's public. You don't ever want to use one that's public because then anyone can see it and anyone can post and anyone can take stuff. You want groups are meant to make people feel special, make them feel like they're VIP, like they are in this elite club. They're in the, you know, like in high school, you always want to be the like it club. That's kind of how they feel. So you either want it to be closed or secret. So the difference between Facebook groups that are closed or secret is secrets no one can search it. So if you were to search French frills, you won't pull up the group. You'll pull up my business page, but you won't pull up the group. Um, so that's how we wanted to set up that one because we literally wanted it to be, this is a VIP group. The only way to be in here is if we add you. Um, so we wanted it very like elite, so to speak. Um, closed, people can search it. So like if you had a closed group and for example, um kelly's fashion forum it's closed right yours is closed yeah. see. okay so if you type in fashion forum in the french or in the facebook search her group will pop up and you can click on it you won't be able to see anything in it but you can click on it and say oh i want to join that and click join um secret groups you can't do that so i have my french frills one for my designs to set up a secret because we want it just to be for embroidery people we don't want their customers to join the group <laughs> okay, that <laughs> so that's why i set that one up secret is because it's specifically for those people so that when they make a tangible product they can sell it and their customers aren't coming to me going well why is she only paying five dollars for this design and i'm paying 25 dollars for a hooded towel like you know there lies a conflict so, right, right so that one is set up secret but my lula row one that we just set up is set up as closed so anyone can search it and join it if they want they can click add to join so on and so forth um, so the way Facebook is set up is it's pretty much set up on an algorithm, just like any other social media platform. The algorithm for Facebook is you just have to figure it out before they change it. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it's like cat and mouse. And, and I hate saying that because then I feel like I'm not helping you guys, but it literally is a cat and mouse game. Like they are constantly changing stuff. So you just have to figure out how to go about it. Um, so for what I do, how I get all of my people to see my stuff, that's what you want to see is you want people to see your stuff organically. You don't want to have to pay for it because Facebook has that option. Hey, pay $20 and you can have so many people see it. The issue with that is, is they get to choose who sees it. So if they have someone that's super active on their pay on your page and you pay for someone else to see it. They can go, ah, well, I don't really want that person to see it even because they're super active. So let's just have somebody else see it or vice versa. Oh, this person's really active. So we'll let them see it when really you're wanting to reach those people who aren't engaging on your page. So don't ever pay Facebook pages. Don't ever pay it. It's a waste of money. Just throw money in the trash. So the way to do it is how Kelly has things set up is what I was trying to help her is she has her personal page. She has her business page, uh, her fit, fat, fit and fashion, right? Is your business page. And then she has her group. People are super active on her personal page, her business page, no one's active and her group is super active. <laughs> so uh, you're my guinea pig. I'm just going to use you. <laughs> so I had her try something that works for me is what I do is I, I post anything that I have on my business page because that's public everyone sees my business page so i make my original post on my business page and then i share it i share it on my personal page i share it in my group and i share it anywhere else i can share it so for example i'm in a whole bunch of different embroidery groups and i can share anything i want in those as far as their guidelines so because obviously a group could have their own guidelines whatever guidelines they want so if you're in like, I don't know, maybe you're in like a, a fitness group that's like maybe Utah fitness people or something. I don't know. I don't know if there's a Facebook group, but search for like your location. So like 
uh, you know, I'm in Harriman, so I can look Harriman Fitness, or I can look up, you know, Harriman Beachbody, or I can look up, you know, something that is coordinated to your business. Okay. <clears throat> so look it up on Facebook and see if you can find closed groups and see what their, um, their rules are on posting things. Um, so there are certain groups that I'm in that won't let businesses post, but three times a week. So I know three times a week I can post in that group and I have a board. Let me grab my board. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. One second. Okay. So I'm putting this back in so everyone in my house doesn't hear me talking. <laughs> so I have a whiteboard and on the bottom here, it says, don't forget to market. And so I have all of these, all these groups that I know I can post my stuff in and I have it posted up on my wall. So I'm always like, okay, every time I do a new sell or a new item, I'm like, okay, I can post and share my post in all these groups. And I make sure I share them in every single group, every single time, because here's the reason why you want to share your, your posts, your original post, only original. You don't want to share a share. You only want to share your original is because if someone comments on your original, on your post that you've shared and let's say there's a Harriman Beachbody group, okay? And I'm like, okay, I wanna share my post in Harriman Beachbody. So I you know, click share, and I can show you guys how to do that if you don't know how to share your posts, and then share it over into that group. And there's a whole bunch of people that are coming like crazy on my post in, in Beachbody, in the Beachbody Harriman group. Um, that is considered organic communication on your post. So Facebook thinks, Oh, well, a lot of people are commenting on this post. It must be important. We need to make sure more people see it. So then if you go to your original post, the number of people seeing it are going to constantly go up as more people are commenting on it, whether it's the original or it's the shared one in whatever shared groups you do. So that's why you want to always make sure you do it on a public page. Kelly's, for example, She's accustomed her people, friends, family, customers, to always check her personal page. I don't ever check her business page. I'll be completely honest. I'll be the first to tell you. I'm always checking her personal page because she always posts everything on her personal page. All of her Instagram posts are shared there. Um, anytime she does a group um, or a five-day sugar thing that she just posted about, uh, it's on her personal page. So I'm like, I don't need to go anywhere else because I know it's all right there. So <clears throat> her people are accustomed to going to her personal page. That's fine if you want to do that. But if you want the entities to be separate, you have to always make sure that business is business, family is family, and not to integrate them too, because it's going to be hard for you to unintegrate it. Does that make sense? So Kelly did a makeup thing on her business page. And she messaged me, she's like, I did what you said, I did it on my business page, and then I shared it, and no one was watching it, but I know they do on my personal, and that's why, is because hers is integrated. <laughs> Everyone's accustomed to coming to her personal page for it, which is okay. I mean, if you want it to set up that way, that's fine. How I have it set up is I have my own personal page that's for my family, my kids, me, my friends. I mean, I have a lot of business friends, but they know my personal page is, my, is me. And they know my business page is French Frills and that they can get help if they message me on French Frills more than they can get help if they message me on my personal page. Does that make sense? I've just accustomed them to that. So it's however you want to accustom your stuff. You can do it all together if you want, or you can do it separate. I suggest separately. So then you can say, okay, well, here's my business hours. Cause you can set business hours on your, on your business page. You can say, I'm open from this time to this time and closed these hours and no one will bug you, technically. I mean, you'll still get messages, but they know that, okay, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., I know if I message this business page, she's gonna answer me. Whereas when it's all together, it's harder to separate the two and they're just constantly like, well, well Kelly should answer because, hello, she's like, I see her on, she should be answering me. So that in lies an issue, which we'll fix that, Kelly. Um, <clears throat> so, then comes LuLaRoe. So I, I just worked on my business page. I started doing my, my group and then I started LuLaRoe. 
and I love the clothes. So I was like, well, why not sell it? Cause I'm crazy and I don't have enough going on in my life. So let's just add <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> I'm not completely insane yet. So let's just add more. I wonder if I can mute my messages. Cause like, can you hear the dings that are coming in? Put your phone on silent girlfriend. I know, but it's my computer. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Like, I don't think I can. It's okay. okay. It's, not, it's not that annoying. Okay. Sorry. So as you can tell, I'm working. <laughs> So, um, so I decided to start LuLaRoe and I was like, well, how am I going to get people into this group? You know, there's tons of LuLaRoe groups on Facebook. How am I going to reach this audience? And I thought, okay, well, giveaways, everyone loves free stuff. Okay. But the difference between just giving away something and giving away something is your interaction and the way you get people in your group. So I started my LuLaRoe group and I just did the first thing right out of the gate, go big or go home. I gave away a free, I'm giving away a free year of leggings. So they get one entry into that by just being in the group. And then for every friend that they add that would like to purchase LuLaRoe, they get another entry. And that just exploded. I went from 600 fans the first day to 1200 and then 1800. And then yesterday, um, I, did a live feed on my French frills group on my sewing one. And I did a sew along Sunday and mentioned my LuLaRoe group. And we've gone from 18 to over 2,600 today. <laughs> um, so you need to give them something that gives them incentive to do it. Nowadays, $10, $5, $15 really isn't a lot of money to people. I know it is for me. Like, dude, that's like freaking a lot of money. Like I can go buy a good pair of jeans with that. But um, to a normal person, or I guess to a, 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 a person that's on the go doing stuff with her family or whatever, that doesn't give them enough incentive to stop what they're doing, whatever it is, and do what you want them to do. So you have to give, make sure the incentive is big enough. So a $5 gift card isn't going to do it. Um, you know, like, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so a couple questions about that. Um, okay. So I wanted to clarify, because when she said a year, year's worth of leggings, I was like, Danielle, that's crazy. But then she was like, oh yeah, so that's one pair of leggings uh -huh. per month. And I was like, oh, okay, well that's doable. Like it right. sounds amazing, but you could do one, I don't know, just think of right. some, a small thing that costs maybe five to $10, but they get it for a whole year. So that can be, that might be like 60 to $120, which it's still a lot, but if you're getting all a huge audience from it, to me, that's, I feel like you have to invest in your business and especially yeah. in your audience. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's, it's what, what would be your monthly marketing budget? You know what I mean? Like if you split it up between the months, it becomes a lot smaller of a chunk than if you go, okay, all at one time, boom. And I found too, if you do an all at one time, boom, they'll forget about it but now you have another like person to promote you once a month when they get their monthly whatever it is you know so then as soon as they get it I, I write notes you know and I write all personal notes and everything I send um, it, it, it may just be you know hopefully you enjoy your leggings love Danielle you know or if I know them more personally I can say you know how's your husband doing? How's your family doing? So that they know I care. Cause if it's just all just printed out, just blah, 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 blah. They don't care. They know that, okay, well you just print this out and put it in every, every um, package. But by doing personal notes and personalized stuff, they feel, oh, I'm important. So I put in the, the, the stuff, I say, you know, please share a photo of, of you or whoever it is on our Facebook page. We'd love to see it. And then when they do, be sure, be sure, be sure to comment on their photo. Don't just like it, comment and make it a genuine comment. None of this, oh, that's so cute or way to go or, you know, just a generic good job. Make it have some sort of substance, whatever it is. It could be like, hot dang, you look great. Or, you know, look at those pants on you. They, they fit you like it didn't before. Or I can barely recognize you. Something that has some sort of substance more than, just the generic way to go. Good job. I love it. So that they feel like you're actually reading what they post and you care what they post because anyone can just say, Hey, good job. Way to go. You know, you have to give them genuine feedback. 
Well, and the thing I like about that is that you, you don't pay for it all at once. You're not for right. out. I mean, right. you're just like, let's say you gave away a year's worth of mascara from Sephora or whatever. Right. So then once a month, you send them a $10 for a gift card. And yes, that's, um, you know, it'll add up. But still, again, if it's worth it, to, if it gets you like, you know, how many right. ever, you got like thousands of new uh, Thousands of new people, eyeballs watching your stuff. Well, and, and that just started them coming in. So to keep that generated momentum going every day up until my big party, I was doing little giveaways. So of course that's a big one that everyone's like, yeah, I want a year's worth of leggings y'all. And then every day I'm like, okay, well here you can win a mystery item. Um, comment, just simple things like comment me or I want it or, you know, whatever it is. Um, just simple, tiny things that take two seconds, just two seconds, because that interaction makes your post show up in people's feeds. So the more interactions you have going on in your page, the inactives get that posted on their wall, on the wall on Facebook. So you want people just to be constantly, duh, 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 duh. it doesn't matter what they're talking about. If they're talking about a movie that's come out this weekend, hop in on that conversation and talk about the movie that's coming out this weekend. It may mean nothing to what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to do, but they will remember, oh, well, I posted in that group and she responded and she chatted with me. And so obviously she cares. So I'm totally going to chit chat with her again. Mm -hmm. So it's building that small foundation because you have to have that foundation of friendship, trust. They want to chit chat with you. You care before anything else happens. You have to have some sort of foundation or they're just going to be like, whatever, you just want my money. Like, they're not going to feel like, oh, okay, I'm a person to you, not a number. And that's super important. So the way I keep my stuff active um, is we do every Saturday or Sunday. Sometimes we do it Sunday. Um, if the page is really dead on Sunday, we'll throw up a game. And these games have nothing to do with French frills, have nothing to do with LuLaRoe. They're just quirky, funny, you know, games. <laughs> like... So this last week we did crossword puzzle. So. I'm going to have you show us, okay? Oh, okay. All right. So click on the button at the bottom that says share screen. Oh, Jesus. Do you see it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Click so on that, and then it will say um, share screen. And then it will tell you, yeah, it's working. Okay. So you see this. You see this. You see me going, ee. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so right now, this is my LuLaRoe page. I have 42 people right now requesting to join. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So I got to go through and do this. Okay, so here is my, and here's all my messages across the bottom. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so here is my French Frills business page, okay? So I, I always have something pinned at the top. Pinned at the top is normally either A, the game, B, what we have just released, and or it will be like, um, normally it's either those two, or unless we have a sale. If we have a sale going on, then our sale will be posted in the pin post. This just means it pops up and everybody's, if they're on the desktop, that's the first post they'll always see. If you're on a mobile, you have to actually click pinned post. That's the one thing I don't like about the mobile. So let me type in hmm, crossword puzzle. See if I can pull it up because I just unpinned it this morning. <clears throat> so every Saturday or Sunday, we do a game. And this last Saturday, no, last Sunday, we did crossword puzzle. And it's not going to pull it up. And I delegate. I have ad admins for my team or for my group. So I have over eight thousand members in my group right now. Why is this taking forever to pull it up? Yeah, well, yeah. She's, while you're trying to pull it up, I want to I want to mention this. So I thought this was genius because she has more than just her in the group posting. So she has people that are helping her post and helping her right. keep it interactive. So if you're going to start a Facebook group, I mean, I started mine with Melissa. Where are you, Melissa? Say hi. We can't see you, but anyway, I started my fashion forum with Melissa. And, um, and it's been so much easier to run because there's days where I have crazy days and I don't have time to post in there, but then Melissa's in there, you know, and we've even taken certain days to post. So, um, 
you don't have to pay them. Just find someone that has similar interests with you and have them help you, you know, co-host. Now, these are not like five-day groups. These are like kind of permanent groups of where, right. you're, where you're adding value or you're talking about a certain topic or whatever. I'm trying to pull it up. I'm like, of course, it won't pull up right now. So, um, so what we do is we do a game and, um, I was explaining this to Kelly, uh, all this stuff is done through Google forms. So like they don't have to have my Facebook page up and then go fill out this thing. Everything is done within the one Google form. Um, I wonder if I have an old one I can show you. Let me see if I, if I can pull it up all. Um, yeah, please try. Cause I'm like, I don't know why I think maybe it's cause I'm sharing my screen. Let me stop share and then see if I can, <coughs> excuse me, see if I can pull it up faster. I want you guys to see what we're talking about, but she just does these random, they're so random. So, like they're not, right. they have nothing to do with embroidery uh -uh. and people go nuts over. They love them. They love them. But see, the thing is, is when we do the games, I normally do something like, you get 50 reward points towards your account um, for the people that win. What? Um, when I was wearing pants, um, when I put it on. Okay. Card, um, it's okay. Just go change. Oh, I, 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 no, heavens no. Sorry about that. <clears throat> that would be my, my Jameson. I cannot pull it up on this freaking thing. I might have to pull it up on my phone. I'm trying to find your group. <laughs> <laughs> so, so while she's doing that, let me give you an example. So, um, one time we did like, we, we made up these little pictures and we did a scavenger hunt, um, within our site. So we took little snippets of the designs that we had and you had to go search the, 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 the site to find which one it was. So that was really good because one, it made people search through our site so they could see, Oh, I forgot about the design. Oh, I forgot about that design. There's Richard <laughs> or, um, what your dad <laughs> He's like waving over my shoulder. <laughs> I can't see cause I'm sharing my screen. I know. It's, okay. So my, my dad's making a cameo, everyone. He's just making a cameo. He's awesome. Okay. So, so as she's shown, thank you for finding it. Cause mine's still trying to load. Okay, um, yep. <clears throat> So she posted, Wendy is one of my admins. She works for me. She does, she, she does right all the fun games is what she does. So, so on the 18th, we posted the crossword puzzle. Okay. So you opened up the PDF and that one's was a little bit different because you had to actually open up the PDF and play the crossword and then you fill this out and then you send it in. Where's, um, the, where's the crossword? I'm, I can't find um, it. Go back and you click on the, there's a PDF. Yeah. On it. Oh, uh, this thing is in the way. Okay, okay. This, oh, this PDF. Okay. Yeah, so you have to click on the PDF. So that would be the crossword. The, the crosswords are a little more complex. A little different. Do you so have another example, one I can search, Jim? Yeah. Game? Type uh, in Wendy Skaggs's name. Okay. And don't type in crossword. Oh, uh, not add people. Go to the very top. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm add I mean, sure. If you have friends named Wendy and they want to do uh, embroidery, <laughs> add them all in. Wendy Skaggs. Yeah, yeah. So she does all my games. So I I have six admin, six admin for my my um for my group. Um, and Wendy takes care of all the games. I have Becky who does photos of my items so that we can share them with everybody. And then I have. Um, Jennifer, who scrolls the board just to answer questions, keep scrolling down. You should be able to scroll down further okay. and just, yes, to see more results. Um, I also have Amanda who, uh, scrolls the board to answer people's questions. We talk a lot. Can you see that Wendy works the board a lot? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Anything that Wendy's name will pull up here. So that's why you're seeing all these random stuff is because anything that Wendy does on the page will pop up. So. Uh, I guess you could put game. I guess you could type in game. Oh yeah, that probably would. Pull that up better than her name, huh? Yeah. Um, so the way that the, I don't monetarily pay these, these ladies, they do it because they love doing it, but also they, real? yeah, so, they do it for free? so I don't, yeah, they, well, technically no, because they do it because they love to. The second reason why they do it is because if they ever need a design, 
I give it to them. I don't make them pay for the design. So I am kind of paying them, but I'm not. Like free, because, kind of. Yeah. Okay, look at this. Here's a roll call, you guys. That's a cute idea. Just so, like <clears throat> right. Every time we do a release, we have release days. So they know Tuesdays and Fridays to come to French Frills because those are our release days. 7.30. Um, so Tuesdays and Fridays are release days. Every single Tuesday and Friday. So they know that they come. So right before, oh, this, yeah, so that's another game. So right before, um, right before our release, about 30 minutes before, I do a roll call. And normally I'll do something like, I'll go look up the national calendar day and I'll say like, today is national whatever, whatever day. So a lot of times I'll say, you know, hey, it's that time again, it's time for roll call. Um, today is national chocolate day. What's your favorite chocolate? Um, and then I'll, and then people I'll say, you know, where are you, where are you this morning? Where are you at? So that, cause people like to know if there's anyone near them. So where are you and what's your favorite chocolate? Or today was, where are you? And, um, what's for breakfast? Because today it was like national professional day. <laughs> I was like, that's lame. <laughs> so today was just, where are you and what's for breakfast? So every time we, yeah, huh? what? Yes, you have to go around the side door though. She's going to be in the side one. She's picking up my daughter from ballet. Yeah. Um, so every, every single time we do any type of thing, we always do a roll call because it's fun. It gets people excited. And then we do a countdown. So right before I release it, like literally like seconds before we'll go, okay, who's here and ready to, to, to release with us. And we'll do a countdown. So we'll, we'll be like, all right, let's start at three. So you go three, two, one, refresh. And they know to refresh the website. So it's almost like a mini party every Tuesday and Friday. So that gets them all interacted because they want to see what's coming up next. The other thing we started doing too, and I told Kelly about this, is we do text alerts. It does cost money to do text alerts depending on how many people you have like signed up. But we did a, a test. Um, I, every other Sunday I do so along Sunday. And so I teach people how to use the designs in ways that they may either a be afraid to, or B had never thought of. So this last week I did winter hats. Okay. Really quick. Beat. Um, so the week prior, I normally have around 150, 160 people watching live at a time this last week, let yesterday. Yes. Yesterday, uh, or Sunday we did it. Um, we did it live. And we started and it was right around the 160. And then I told my friend Chrissy, I said, hey, send out the text alert and tell people that we're on, on live. And she did. And we went up to 260 and 270 watching live. So it doubled our views just by saying, hey, we're live on French Frills. Come do so long with us. Click this link. It'll take you straight to the video. And so it took them straight. How do you do text alerts? And then we got to go back to our game thing. Oh, so you have to sign up for it. Like there's different companies that you can use. I use pro texting. They have the best, um, customer service rating and they have the best, um, reach rating. So for example, so like if you sent out a hundred texts, 98% of those texts will be delivered. Um, some will fail for some reason, whatever reason. You know, so they had the best rating as far as delivered text. So I use pro rate, pro texting and there's different. Does it cost, how, does it cost very much? Or? Yeah. So it, you, you purchase text credits. So every text you send is a credit. Oh, okay, cool. So you just purchase monthly credits. So it just depends on how many people you have in your texting who have signed up for your texting. Um, and you can always upgrade at any time. Um, and so that's, it varies in cost that way. Um, right now, I think I'm on like, I want to say I'm on a two or $300 a month, a month plan. Um, but we use it for more than just live. We use it for when we, um, have a new design out. So we send out a text saying, Hey, here's the new design. Um, we, so we use it three times a week or two to three times a week. So I'm on a higher plan but that is returning in the increase in sales. So we have seen an increase in sales due to those texts going, texts going out. So that's other, another option to you make sure that people realize, Oh crap, this is going on. Um, you know, cause a lot of people are like, thanks so much for the text. I completely forgot you were doing so long Sunday. 
So we've found that that does help. Um, so did you just post a link and say, sign up for our texts? Yeah, yeah. So, well, I did an incentive for people to sign up, of course, because you know me, I'm all about incentives. Right. So I did an incentive and I did, um, you know, sign up for the text club. You get an exclusive coupon that's only for the, the text club. And I gave them a coupon of 20% off. So, text club, that's cute. Yeah, so it's, it's the French Frills Text Club is what it is. And so they felt, of course, it's a text club. Oh, I'm in the club. And they feel important. <laughs> right. So it's all about making them feel like they are the only person in the world that matters. Whether or not that may be true, because obviously everyone else matters. But you need to make sure that every customer feels like I am number one and I have your full attention at all times. And there's a text app. It is free that you guys could kind of do something similar. You can try. Yeah. Um, I cannot think of the name of it. If any of you guys can think of it, type it in the chat bar, but it's like a, I used to do some of my challenge groups through this text app. I would just um, text my oh, client every day and I can't remember the name of it. Do any of you guys remember? Nope. Okay. Well, I'll look it up, but, <laughs> um, but go to that one, you chose other one, the one that was the picture with the, um, the okay. bus and the like notes. here, do you want me to go to the actual document or? Yeah, yeah sure. If that works. So did you oh. guys notice that there was, it was like, you'll be entered into a drawing to win like 12 rolls of whatever <laughs> of material or whatever that stuff is that we don't know about. <laughs> it's vinyl, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So this is a good example. This is all done in a completely done in a Google form. Um, so literally they don't have to go anywhere else. Um, the picture is there, the puzzle name, you, your answer, and it, they have nothing to do with French Rails. Like you just name the movie off of these pictures, which I'm horrible at, by the way. I know. I was um, like, I think this would drive me so bad. bad at them. <laughs> um, another option where you do the pictures in the game is we would take, um, outfits. And we would make them like, so we would take like a, a, a purple shirt and a green skirt and put like a shell necklace. And we'd say, what Disney character does this remind you of? And of course it's Ariel. And so we would do that and we'd do it. And you want to make them short and sweet. So like 10 to 15 questions max, max, because no one wants to sit here for like, yeah, I would say 10, <laughs> 10 questions. So, so that's what we do is we do it, to, you know, 10, 15 questions max. And it's just something fun and easy and fast and quick. And they enjoy it because then they get to go, oh, did I get them all right? Because the next day we do a post and tag everyone that's like, hey, look, here are our lucky people who got all of them right. And we'll tag everyone that got them right. And so they feel special because look at me, I got them all right. And then we announce who won that game. Because um, a lot of times we found on either Saturday nights or Sundays, our people are normally hanging out with family and stuff, but come Sunday night, they're like, and I'm bored and I'm vegging on the couch or whatever. And so this is a great way to keep that interaction up on the weekends when people are out with their families. Um, just a fun, quick, easy thing to do so that they feel like it's still fun and, and interactive. So yeah, and I like that it's a Google document because then you have all of the answers, all the submissions and entries in one mm -hmm. place. So you're not scrolling all around right. or whatever. Yep. And then you can just look at that one Google Doc that has listed all their names, and then you just choose a winner from random.org. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So I just use random.org. So I'll list all the people that want it. So let's say 20 out of 100 or whatever. So 20 people. So I'll do, you know, 1 to 20 um, on random.org, and it'll say like 5. So I go to number 5. The fifth person that got it all right, boom, that's the winner. Um, it's just easy, easier that way to do them. So, um, and for prizes, you guys, I was just thinking of something, you know, you can like with, you can get vendors to donate prizes in case you, again, there's always like creative ways. You don't have to like fork out 120 bucks for a big giveaway. You can like ask vendors and be like, Hey, I'm in, you know, I start like for our fashion group. Hey, uh, we have this fun, we do fun weekly giveaways. Would you want to contribute to this week's right. prize? And people will gladly do it, you know? So as long as they know, like, you have to kind of share what's in it for them, you know, be like, hey, we're going to totally shout you out in this, like, group that is, uh, has your kind of audience, then a lot of people are very willing to. So I think you could easily get vendors to, to donate prizes. 
Um, we so actually did that for our year anniversary, for our two year anniversary. Uh -huh. um, I went to Joann's and Target and um, a couple other small little places, a couple vinyl places and talked about, you know, hey, this is what we do. This is how many people we have in our group. Um, and we have people that are, because we're constantly promoting Target towels for our hooded towels. We are constantly promoting Joann's for, you know, thread and, and fabric and so on and so forth. So I told him about it, showed him the page, because you know it's easier if you go in. Showed him the page and said, you know, we're having our two year anniversary. We're doing a huge sale. Would you like to help donate anything? And so a lot of them did donate quite a bit. And so for our big anniversary sale, we gave away, we had so much donations for as far as stuff. Plus, you know, I bought stuff to give away too. So um, we gave away two embroidery machines. We gave away eight baskets of thread. We gave away eight baskets of vinyl and we gave away two Target gift cards. So it pays to go talk to us. It's, it's scary to go talk to people and say, hey, you know, can you, do you want to, uh, you know, support me? This is a small business type thing. But a lot of times they want to help small businesses. So, um, so we totally did that and it works because we had a huge response to our, our two year giveaway, huge. And of course I did a live video and I shared it in my personal page and I, or I mean, I shared it in my group and I shared it in all the groups that I could share it in so that it got more and more bumps and more and more people to see it. Yeah. And notice how, um, so tell me kind of how it goes. Like when you do a game, it looks like when you posted like, Hey, like you do a post that's mm -hmm. kind of giving them a heads up of like, right. When the game is, it's going to be noon on Saturday. And then, did she post it at noon and then it's yes. up for all day and it closes, it looks like closes the next morning. So okay. because we have a lot of international people in our group too. So we have a lot of people in Australia, New Zealand, the UK, um, even some in like South Africa, like we have people everywhere. So we want to always make sure that our stuff is up for 24 to 48 hours. So that gives those people in the other countries time to be able to enjoy it too. Yeah. And so. the thing that I think is cool about this, and I feel like this applies not only to, to a group that you're starting, but we could even do these in our challenge groups, our boot camps. Um, I know there's a uh, Carly, shoot, what's her name? She was in the top 10 last year. It's like Carly Del Carlo. It, uh, one of the Carly girls. Anyway, she, I know she does in her challenge groups. She'll post like, Hey, what's your favorite nail polish color? Comment below. And she's just trying to get interaction. I feel like that's what it's about. It's about getting people to interact and connect with you and build relationship. I did that. I do that a lot in my LuLaRoe group. I posted a picture of my daughter in a dress and said, you know, comment below with pictures of you and your LuLaRoe. If I get, you know, 20 comments or 200 comments, I'll do a sneak peek of what's going to be up for sale tomorrow. Um, so it gives them incentive to comment because they of course want to see what's for sale coming up But it also helps with that interaction on that page You want to constantly have your page moving if someone comes into your group and scrolls your page and see, sees You know a few things that are like boom 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 of recent and then the one right below it is like two and a half months old post They're gonna go. Well, this group isn't very, you know interactive This post is two and a half months old and it's like up I don't scroll very far to see it, you know, mm -hmm. and you don't want that. You want it to be constantly just blah, 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 blah. So it's just, you want, even if it's just silly little things like what's your favorite nail color, nail polish color, or, you know, um, Hey, like a lot of times if it seems kind of slow on a Saturday, one of my admins, Becky, who, who stitches a lot of my stuff will pop in and go, what's on your machine today? Share your French frill design that you're stitching out today. Or, you know, uh, how many towels did you get done today? Let's do a running tally. And so then people have a chance to brag about themselves because everyone's a little bit of narcissistic in a way. Right. And they want to talk about themselves. <laughs> so that gives them that opportunity to say, well, look at me. I did 10 towels today or whatever it is. Look at me. I did my workout at 5 a.m. and I've done 20 push-ups already. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever, you right. know. Yeah. Um, another one you can do too is you can do like a contest within the thing. So like, for example, a good one is every day everyone has to do a hundred pushups and the first three people to comment or whatever it is like, or you could do your, 
you have to do before noon your beach body workout or something. So then you can keep a tally mark like, oh, well, I'm at 102. Well, I'm at 104. I'm, you know, so it gives them that type of like competitive edge, but at the same time, it's friendly and it doesn't get out of control. You don't yeah. want people to do and um, I like the idea of like setting a deadline because I feel like people work best with deadlines where like, yeah, the first three people, the comment will, you know, get. You have to give them urgency. You have to make it feel urgent because if you just, and that's what they say about booking parties too. I mean, when I'm booking parties for LuLaRoe, I give them three options. You can do this date, this date, or this date. These are the only dates I have available. I don't say, well, what date works for you in October or November? Anything works for me because it doesn't give them a sense of urgency like, crap, I got to choose right now. Um, so you have, to, uh, you have to give them that incentive or that urgency like, okay, I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this. If you just give them, it's like children, toddlers. Like if you want, what do you want for dinner? Well, shoot, there's like a thousand choices on what I want for dinner. But if you tell your toddler, okay, you can have pizza, chicken, or spaghetti, they, uh, they know, okay, I need, I have three choices and I have to make a choice soon or mom's going to make it for me. So same yeah. concept with your group members or your groupies, you have to do, give them options, give them a deadline so they know, okay, I have to do it by this, this time, this time, or I'm out of luck. <laughs> okay. A um, couple more things and we've got to wrap it up. Dang, this went by fast. <laughs> And I like how you also, uh, here's some ideas, you guys, because, you know, you don't always have to, again, spend money, but you could just be like, the first three people to comment will get my favorite recipe, like, yeah. just something simple, or we'll get, like, a video I made about intermittent fasting, or about makeup, or whatever. So, and it, or you're, like, eight-hour eating thingamajingy. Yeah. So, yeah. a lot of people are like, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? If you find something that somebody, a lot of people are interested in and it doesn't cost you money, you can give it out like, okay, here you go to these people, get this exclusive information and everybody's nosy. So everyone wants to know whatever it was. All right. Now so. I'm going to show you guys her um, Facebook fan page and I want to show you something really genius <laughs> that she did. Um, and then if you <laughs> give us like five minutes of how you built your fan page to be so uh, and to have an insane amount of following, but look at this pinned post right here. You guys make sure you're utilizing the pinned post option on your Facebook fan page. So right now I have a call to, or I have my coach application on there. I have like a story about the, I have a picture. If you look on mine that says now accepting applications and it talks about coaching and how my life has changed because of it. And then there's my woofoo application. Another thing I'm considering doing is um so she basically promotes her facebook group on this pinned post so she's like love french frills do you have a machine blah 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 we have a vip secret group again it sounds very exclusive here on facebook just for those who love designs and want to show off their creations get inspired blah 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 um fill out this form and we will send you an in invite so she doesn't say just join our group because she's saying like again i'm like Oh, it's exclusive. Like if you want, and we'll, we'll send you an invite. So yeah, now you have to fill out this form and then she gets. <laughs> Joe, here do you. <laughs> right. And then, um, and then, but it's so genius because it's like a kind of a, you're getting two things. Number one, they're going to join your Facebook group. And number two, you're getting their email address right here. This is just a Google document. She's obviously knows how to rock Google forms. <laughs> I, they're easy. Google forms are, they really are. And what do you do once they, okay, I'm going <laughs> to. So once it's filled out, then it says, okay, thank you for, for filling it out. We, the, we also put on there, please allow up to 24 hours to receive your invite. That's so they don't think it's immediately I'm getting my invite. Okay. So it, how, what do they get? How do you, do you, have you automated it so that you don't have to send emails every, like? No, but, no, we haven't. But the reason why is because it's a secret group. So we literally have to go into our Facebook page and where it says add members, we put in their email address there. But also when we put in their email address there, we're also show putting me, their, show me, show me, hang on. Oh, okay. So you go to your, yes. Here's your group. Right, right up above, right below, yes, right there is where it says add members. It says add enter name or email address. Oh, so if you're not friends with that person, 
and you have their email address, you can shoot them an email or, or put their email address in there and Facebook sends a message and says, hey, so-and-so wants to invite you to this group. <gasps> that person then can accept it and boom, they're automatically in. So or then they're getting an email. Oh, that's so smart. So then they're getting an email, but also with that email, once we, once we have our email on the Google Doc, we enter their email into our, news, our, our, our newsletter. Right. So, so we send out a monthly newsletter and they can decline from that newsletter if they want to, but we send a monthly newsletter and that's how we get everybody's email for the newsletter. So, so smart. Like, I love it. These are such great ideas. Kate, let me see if we have time for questions. Yeah, we have like four minutes. Any questions you, oh wait, you haven't even talked about your Facebook fan page. <laughs> Tell us how you rocked your Facebook fan page. Okay, so what we do with the fan page is um, if you scroll down, Kelly, okay. if you scroll down and you look at, um, like, so stay right there. It says, uh, has the likes and the hearts. Since I'm the person that owns it, I can click on that and it'll give me a list of all the people that have liked that. And if they aren't a fan of my page. Wait, where? I'm trying to find it. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can pull up mine really quick and show you. That's, this, is how, this is how I work my business page, and it gets a lot of people liking my page. So, yes, so right up above oh, look, where it she says, shared this. By the way, she shared this in her – it says it has 11 shares, and uh -huh. you can tell that it says Daniel Thor Thornock shared it. So, obviously, she shared it on her – And there's other people that have shared it, too. <laughs> into her Facebook group, okay. right. <laughs> so, right above that shares, you see the little thumb up and the heart? Yeah. It says 52. When you are the owner of the page – you can click on that 52 uh -huh. and it'll show you a list of how, of, of the people's names and yeah. it'll say if they've liked, if they've liked your, if they've liked your page or if they haven't, and if they haven't, you, there's a little box that says invite and you click that and it sends them an invite to like your page. Okay. So let's see. So yeah, go to, yep. Go to that. Click on, click on the names. So it says Lisa, Carrier, Sharon, whatever. I can't. <laughs> no, go over to their names. Oh, here. Yes, click. Click on that. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. I was <laughs> You're like, I can't do it. So click on that. <laughs> it still won't let me. Do I, I click on it first? Okay, there, there we go. go. All right, so now you'll see liked. And, oh, there you go. We have a bunch that aren't friends of your, fans of your page. So press invite, 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 and invite them all to like your business page. Oh, my word. I did not know this. Go through every single post you have ever made, Kelly, and invite every single person. <laughs> so that helps you get likes. So I'm getting a hundred likes a week at it easy because these people are <laughs> seeing these posts in their feed or a friend's feed and they're like, Oh, that's really cool. And they like it, but they don't realize that they haven't liked the page. So this okay. gets them to like the page. Very cool. What else? Um, PS, this is my pinned post. See, you got to utilize your pinned post, either promote a challenge group or coaching. Call to action. Give them something to do. There's my Wufu application right there. Yep. Um, sorry, any other tips before? I can't even think of any. I probably have, I could probably talk about this for hours and hours. Did and you hours. pay any money to like, uh, for ads, Facebook ads? I did once. I did once to test it. I okay. paid $20 once to test it, and then I did it my roundabout way, and I get 110% more on my sharing it and trying to find people to organically like it rather than paying for it. It's just not worth it. It's just another way for them to take money from you. And maybe it's just um, because you're doing like those, sorry, I'm going to find your page again. Um, because you're constantly sharing those posts, mm -hmm. people are seeing, oh, Friends right. does this, Friends Frills does that. Mm -hmm. Look, because her, she's got 18 shares. And look at the views. Go back up top. Okay. Stop on the video. Do you see the views down there? 5.5 K views. Oh, that doesn't mean that yeah. a, that many people were watching it at one time. That means that it's reached that many people and that many people have clicked on that video to watch it. They may have not watched all of it, but they've clicked on it. How'd you get so many dang shares? <laughs> uh, because pe people share it when, well, this uh, is value. Yeah. She's, she's thinking how to make a winter hat. So adding value with videos is huge. Yes. And then you got to make sure you promote it early enough to allow people to get on it and, uh, and remind themselves, okay, 
I have to do this, but not too far in advance. You don't want to do like two weeks ahead and go, Hey, look, I'm doing this in two weeks. Cause people are going to forget uh, anything before a couple days. Right. It's true. <laughs> it's true. So. <laughs> All right. Any quick questions before we've got our diamond call right now, but any quick questions for Danielle before we wrap it up? Let me stop sharing. I know. I'm like, I don't really want to watch myself again. <laughs> chat, chat. Uh, oh. <laughs> Megan said, well, that's when people like your post. No one's seeing my stuff. <laughs> right. I, not everyone likes my posts, but when they do like go and bite them. Um, yeah. Group me. That's the app name. Thank you, Heidi. That text app that I was talking about is called group me. And well, if you have a small enough fo following, you can use that. But whereas I have 18,000 members or 18,000 or 8,000 members in my group, I don't think that's a viability. So that's why I use pro texting. I just think that anyway, I, I appreciate you so much sharing this, Danielle, because I think um, you can just take little nuggets from this and apply it to your challenge groups and, you know, your Facebook page. And, you know, I would encourage you guys to try to find a, a Facebook group that you can uh, either start or, um, you know, one that you can start where you're adding value to it. Because if you have all these people in a group and you're constantly talking to them every day, those people are going to turn into customers, like guaranteed. So because you're building relationships with them and it's like kind of like a Trojan horse, you know, because I'm talking about fashion that has nothing to do with fitness. But if you're, I was telling Stephanie, um, Agley to start. She loves interior design stuff. So I'm like, start an interior design group and talk about that and find a couple of friends to help you run it. Um, you know, if you love, it, it could be a food group. I thought about starting one that was, um, 52, 52 weeks of recipes. Um, and it would just be me sharing one recipe a week. And then you could talk about food. Um, anyway, so think of something that inspires you and think of ways that you can, you know, that you can add value and, and something you're passionate about and, and then try it out. Cause I think obviously Danielle's made it work for her business and so far. <laughs> I feel like my fashion form starting to pick up. And I, in fact, I'm talking to a girl in there right now about a challenge pack. So it's just cool. It's a really great way to build relationships. So thanks so much, Danielle. And thanks everyone for joining us and have a good week. You guys. Bye.